So there's a fiddlehead plant. Oh, hey folks, how's it going? Robert here. I'm just out uh, on the search for some fiddleheads. So uh, we uh, had a couple people told me they were up, but uh, I come out here to where I usually get them and uh, they haven't even started to grow yet. There's a fiddlehead plant from last year. And uh, no fiddleheads up there, eh? They're still down in the ground, see them? Yeah, it's a fiddlehead, definitely, but they're not good until they're up about that high, eh? About that high. Six to nine inches or higher. Yeah, they'll come up about this high before they start to uh, fiddle out. Before they start to become a non-fiddlehead. So, no fiddleheads out here. Not where I get them, anyway. They might be in warmer temperatures where the ground is a bit warmer, but out here in the mountain, it's not. Anyway, I'll uh, go do some other stuff. I'll be back. That right there is why you can't take my dog fishing. Look at him. Come on, you're scaring all the fish. I just seen three swim down the river. Oh, uh, you're fishing, not swimming. Dumbass. Well, out here in the sun, the fiddleheads are starting to come up. But, they're not the ones I like. These are not the ones with the deep V groove. These are the other kind. It's got the white fur on them. The other ones are, I think they're called bracken fern fiddleheads. Um, these are like a woodland fiddlehead or whatever you want to call them. But uh, they're not as good as the other ones. Hey, check out what I did find. I found a bunch of sedium. Sweet. Grab some of this. This will make a good salad. There's a bunch here, eh? A bunch. So, should dig it up and bring it home, plant it in the yard. So I harvest a bunch, pulled out the bulbs and all, it grows in really sandy soil, so I got the whole chunks, so I'll take it home, plant it in my yard, in some nice sand, and uh, I'll have my own sedium growing in my yard. This water is freezing. It's like May 6th. Too cold to swim. <laughs> There's the good ones. That's what they used to be there. That's what they grow into. Crazy, eh? Taking the center core out of the paracord, and tie it together, and I'm gonna make a string for fish and I'm gonna try to catch a fish with it. Tying it to this. So that's what I got. Three feet of it. You almost got it? <laughs> Conserve the worm.
my god, that's awesome! That's cool. Look at the lines off you. Nice brother, kind of like he's maybe. Look! We did it, me and Robert! Yep, all right. Just like when we were kids with the rod. All made fishing rod, the, the best thing going. Hey, there's two. We wouldn't be hungry anyway. You gonna just pop them in your little hearts? No. Just All right, so the there he is. Come on, tight though at the end. Two Still, that's awesome. That's yeah. number two. <laughs> Here's supper: home cooked trout, deep fried potatoes, sedium, yummy sedium, and. Steamed fiddleheads in a bamboo steamer. That's the trout I caught with the the paracord fishing rod. So potatoes. They're from the dirt too, so it should be uh, should be a good feed. So everything's just about ready. I'm gonna have a fine shot of sambuca. Cheers. <sighs> Yummy. I'm looking pretty good. Sabian, or yeah, Sabian's just about cooked. Show you the figure that it's getting. Ooh, that's hot. That is hot and steamy. We're just about done. There is my supper for tonight. <laughs>